Hey folks, Flojo here again. Just got back from Hawaii. I've been doing scuba diving and underwater photography as a hobby now for about 15 years or so. And yes, I flooded a housing and ruined thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Seawater plus high pressure plus a Canon 5D Mark IV and a 16 to 35 lens equals no bueno. Get insurance for your year already, would you? So here are some of my shots. Here's an octopus, a shark, a dive master, me, and Loretta the grouper. So I'm no stranger to sea life, but here's the thing about underwater photography. Every single photo is blue, just blue. Blue fish, blue coral, blue turtle, blue me, rather depressing looking. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that with Capture One and Adobe Premiere, but go ahead and use any software you're comfortable with. Basically any photography program that can lie about how good you are at photography or video. Just kidding. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that using Capture One. Okay, so follow along with me here. Here's that turtle friend I mentioned earlier. Here is my before and after. Before and after. Let's reset it, yuck. Now go to your adjustments panel. First off, you wanna adjust the white balance. This one's actually pretty close because it's close to the surface. It's very close to the surface, so you're gonna have a lot less blue. So we'll just leave it there. Next, you hit that contrast, uh, crank that slider, go all the way, you can do it. Then you want to hit the brightness, you want to bring it down a bit. Next, the saturation. Then bring the brightness down just slightly. Next, you want to bring your saturation up because nothing screams professional photography like a turtle that glows in the dark. Next, you want to recover those highlights, then you want to lift the shadows. Think of it like therapy for your underwater photos. Cover the whites a little, bring the blacks down. Now here I masked the turtle on a separate layer. As you can see, I've already done it, but you could kind of see how it really improved the look of the turtle here. Now I masked the turtle and warm them up and brighten them because if you don't, well, you, well, have you ever seen a blue turtle in real life? If you need to learn about masking, I'll cover this in a later video. And boom. Cowabunga, dude. Now open up Premiere and port your clip into your timeline. Hit the Lumetri color panel. Run through the aforementioned steps. Boom. So yeah, don't be afraid to push those sliders. People say it's cheating, but guess what? Nobody ever said, wow, this photo looks too good. Let's give them less likes. This method works for me. Perhaps you have a better method. If so, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, that's it. Go edit your underwater shots. Check out my Instagram at Flojo underwater, or don't, but do. All right, enough of that. Flojo out. Thanks so much.